My name is June Barbara Dalgleish and Wilfred Collinson was my father. Mum's got a photo um, of her dad as a young man and I was walking past the photo on Mum's bedside table and I just looked at him and I said, I'm going to find out who you are. Wilfred Collinson was born in Hull in England in 1895. Fresh-faced and looking for an adventure, he migrated to Australia in 1914. Not long after his arrival, war was declared, and like many young men, Wilfred enlisted. He was 19 years old. His war records show that he fought in Gallipoli and on the Western Front. I know that Dad was gassed four times, and, um, and he was a gunner. And that's about all I really know, you know, about his war service. Wilfred saw out the duration of the war and returned to Australia in 1919. He gained employment with the Victorian Railways and soon after met and married Carlene Amindi. Although home and physically well, Wilfred could not escape the trauma of his wartime experience. I think they started off happily enough and uh, probably free of Dad's problems, but he just started to imagine things, uh, kind of neurotic I suppose, and imagine there were men hanging around the house and different things like that. He came into the, the hospital when my mother was three, so the old man that I visited at Bandura when I was when I was a little girl, that was all I knew of him. And I knew my mother grew up knowing nothing about him as well. Other kids had their dads at home. And of course, you know, my dad's in hospital and they'd say, well, what's wrong with your dad? The fact that my grandfather had a mental illness wasn't a stigma, but it was still that regret and, and grief of what, what would have been. Of course we would have loved to have had Dad at home, but it was just something that we grew up with. Wilfred was admitted to Bandura Repatriation Hospital in 1937 and would go on to spend the remainder of his life, more than 35 years, as a patient. But his children and grandchildren knew little of the circumstances of his admission. Julie began to research her family history online and discovered her grandfather's war records held by the National Archives of Australia. After looking at the records online um, and reading through them and reading letters from various family members, what became apparent was um, the difficulty that my grandmother had in having my grandfather's mental illness and a range of other physical ailments accepted as, as being war related. Julie uncovered the countless appeals her grandmother Carlene had made to the Repatriation Commission, seeking both acknowledgement of the impact of Wilfred's wartime experiences and financial support to raise their four children. There's a letter uh, written to the hospital by Carlene, my grandmother, um, requesting treatment because I'm sure what she wanted was something to cure him so he could come home. His good friend wrote a letter at the time supporting mum. The, the letter actually describes Wilfred before Gallipoli and Wilfred after. And may I say he said that at the loss of Wilf's sanity. Through the discovery of this deeply moving material, Julie and June have gained a deeper insight into who Wilfred was and the lasting impact of his war service through decades of correspondence. To be able to see these letters, which in my mother's generation got thrown out, I began to get a better understanding of exactly who Wilfred Collinson is. Julie's done a wonderful thing for me. I think it's honest dad. As I said to her, 
not long ago. If you don't do anything else for me for the rest of my life, this has been the best thing you've ever done. I think it's been wonderful for Mum because she looks at that photo and she says he looks happier.